I'm going to dump this case because everything I need is in this pouch. Today, we're going QRP. So as you might see, I've uh, pared down my pack. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've, most of my activations have been, you know, based out of the car or based out of the campsite. But um, Chameleon sent me a new antenna and I said, hey, this is a great opportunity to put it on the air and um, try some QRP. So I um, threw the essentials in my bag along with umpteen pounds of camera gear because that's the way I roll. And um, we're out here at uh, Council Grounds uh, State Park in Merrill, Wisconsin. And uh, we're gonna put this antenna on the air. They sent me the um, the new lightweight NFED system, the LEFS uh, 4010. It's a 40 through 10 uh, meter NFED half wave. Um, super lightweight, uh, super small, comes in a little green pouch and um, you know, it uses just, um, you know, 25 feet of RG316 uh, cable to hook it up to the transceiver. So it's um, beautiful, uh, beautiful compact system. And uh, we're looking for a spot. So um, set this antenna up and get on the air. So let's talk a little bit about the uh, Chameleon uh, Lefts uh, 4010. Got it here in the bag, along with a couple other accessories, like some rope that I'm gonna need. Uh, but this is this is the antenna. It's a um, infit half wave, 40 meters uh, through 10 meters. So 40, 15, or 40, 20, 15, and 10 meters you'll be able to use without a tuner. Uh, if you want to get on 30, 17, and 12, you should be able to do that with a tuner. At least I've had no problems doing that. Wire here, uh, super lightweight. This feels like a 22 gauge, 24 gauge. Uh, PTFE, that's the Teflon coated wire. So it's um, uh, uh, very uh, slippery, which is good for when you're deploying uh, these types of antennas in trees like we're around today. Uh, BNC connectors. This one's really interesting because it's got two BNC connectors. One to configure this as an NFED half wave antenna, and then the other connector configures this as a dipole antenna. So if we, if we connected two wires onto the um, uh, terminals here on either side, uh, we could use this um, centerpiece as a dipole. Uh, but if we connect the wire to the single uh, connection here on the other end, then it would be an NFED half wave antenna. And that's how we've got this connect, uh, that's how we've got this configured today. Uh, it's built on, it looks like a printed circuit board. It's uh, very rigid. I think it's gonna be, it's, it's probably pretty uh, a sturdy. I'm gonna pull off this little tie here in the middle. Um, covered by a heat shrink is the uh, transformer. It's a 49 to one style transformer. Uh, a little bit smaller uh, ferrite or toroid than um, you know, most of the NFED half waves that I've got in my kit. So this is gonna do uh, 100 watts a sideband, 50 watts CW, 25 watts data. Not really designed as a full power type uh, antenna. Really, you know, they're really uh, going after that QRP or a low power market there. And that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna try some QRP with this. So <laughs> don't really do a whole lot of QRP activation. So it's gonna be fun to see what happens. Um, I'm, sure, I'm sure my normal 50 watts that I usually run this antenna would have no trouble uh, handling it, but um, it'll otherwise, uh, uh, it looks like it's, it's pretty well built. Uh, so uh, I found, I, I see a couple nice uh, pine trees around here and we can get this uh, configured in sort of a sloper configuration. So let's get this antenna on the air.
CQCQ, Parks on the Air, CQ Parks on the Air, KB9 VBR, Kilo Bravo Niner, Victor Bravo Romeo, calling CQ for Parks on the Air. Park to Park, Park to Park, Victor Echo 3, Radio Golf Oscar, Park to Park. Victor Echo 3, Radio Golf Oscar, good afternoon, 57 Wisconsin, Park number Kilo 1447, back to you. 1447 QSL. Uh, I'm Michael, I have four parks. Prepare for four parks. All right, go ahead with your four parks. I got good copy on you. 1541-1541. Second park, second park. Victor Echo, 5628. Victor Echo, 56 28. And third park, third park. Victor Echo, 5536. That's 5536. Fourth, last pause. Victor Echo, 0063. 0063. QSL or repeat? Okay, I've got the uh, Victor Echo uh, 1541. Victor Echo 5628. Uh, Victor Echo 5536. And was the last one Victor Echo 0053? Uh, but 0063, QSL? QSL, the 0063. Thank you for the four parks today. Roger, you're five and three to me. Five and three, Michael. Have a great job, and I hope to hear you in uh, another video. All right, we're only running five watts today, so thanks for the signal report. You have a great activation. Roger, five watts. Uh, do you want me to mark you QRP in the log? I am QRP today. That is correct. Roger, so I'll uh, mark you stroke Q in the log. Thanks, Michael. Have a great day. You too have a great activation. KB9 VBR, Parks on the Air, QRZ. Whiskey Bravo 8, Uniform Bravo Radio. Whiskey Bravo 8, Uniform Bravo Radio, 57 Wisconsin, Park number Kilo 1447. Back to you. Roger, Roger, thanks for that. I've got 255 uh, into Ohio. All right, thanks for the Ohio. You have a great day in 7 3. 7 3, thanks for the activation. It's my pleasure. KB9 VBR, Parks on the Air, QRZ. Seven Fox Hotel Charlie. Kilo Zero Oscar Tango Charlie. A whiskey One Japan Mike America. Whiskey One Japan Mike America. Gotcha 57 Wisconsin Park. Number Kilo 1447. Back to you. Thank you. You're also 57 here into Connecticut. Charlie Tango. 73. Thanks for activating. All right. Thanks for the Connecticut. You have a great day. 73. 73. How many watts are you running? Five watts for QRP today. Five watts. Yeah, doing well for five watts. <laughs> All right. Hey, that's great to hear. I love it. Uh, thank you. Uh, KB9 VBR parks on the air. QRZ. Kilo Charlie 3, Mike Hotel Oscar, park to park. Kilo Charlie 3, Mike Hotel Oscar, park to park. 55 five, Wisconsin, park number Kilo 1447. Back to you. Roger the 1429 in Pennsylvania. Roger the 1429 in Pennsylvania. And the frequencies in use. The frequencies in use. Uh, thanks for the contact. You have a great activation today. Roger, Roger. Thanks for being out there and uh, thanks for the part CQ20, CQ20, calling CQ 20 meters. CQ20, CQ20, calling CQ, CQ 20 meters. This is Kilo, Charlie 3, Tango Uniform Yankee, calling CQDX and listening. The frequencies in use, the frequencies in use. This is KB9 VBR, Parks on the Air, Kilo Echo 7, Golf, Golf, Papa. Kilo Echo 7, Golf, Golf, Papa, 59 Wisconsin, Park number Kilo 1447. Back to you. Back to USL, thank you very much for uh, activating the park today. Uh, I'll have you 59 here into Montana. All right, thanks a lot for the Montana. It's greatly appreciated. You have a great day in 7-3. This is KB9 VBR, Parks on the Air. We're going to go last call today. November 8, Alpha Alpha X-Ray. November 8, Alpha Alpha X-Ray. Nice signal. 5-9 Wisconsin, park number Kilo 1447. Back to you. And you are 5-9 into Cincinnati, Ohio. All right. Well, thanks a lot for the Cincinnati, Ohio. It's greatly appreciated. You have a great day. 7-3. Seven, 7-3. Three. Seven, three. This is KB9 VBR, Parks on the Air. Last call. So this afternoon, uh, we were putting the Chameleon uh, LEFS uh, 4010, their NFED uh, half-wave antenna, on the air. And uh, 
I was pleasantly surprised with uh, how it performed. <laughs> it's uh, uh, it's an NFED half wave, and you know a lot of times I've said you know NFEDs and NFEDs and NFED. So the difference is really how they're constructed and what they allow you to do. Uh, this one, you know, is is really designed for QRP operation, and that's what I put it on the test for today. Uh, ran five watts, a single sideband with it, and uh, performed uh, marv marvelously. Really, <laughs> I don't have any complaints on the operation of this antenna. It um, sets up fast. Uh, the wire here, this is um, really thin. I think it's 22, could be 24 gauge uh, um, PTFE. So it's uh, Teflon coated wire. Uh, so it's super smooth. Um, had no problem you know, getting, a, uh, getting it up in the air. Uh, the end was up at about 20 or so ish feet. And um, we had the other end here up about three or three or four feet, I guess it was. Uh, really good ears. Uh, <laughs> I was I was surprised at that, and uh, it, it 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 heard it listened really well. Nice low noise antenna. Um, I'm going to say it's a very efficient antenna because for the five watts that I was operating, you know, stations had no problems uh, picking me out and uh, making those contacts. That's probably the you know uh, the signal difference between you know them running barefoot and me running QRP is pro was probably the difference of maybe one or two S units on average. Uh, so it's. Um, uh, which would be expected for QRP. Uh, I think the only thing that I would complain about is that, you know, I'm not really too keen on um, uh, printed circuit boards as a wire winder, you know, as, as a frame for antennas. I think they're a little more brittle than other types of, of materials. But other than that, you know, it's super lightweight. Um, I, I, I think it's, it's kind of novel that it has a combination of um, NFED or dipole design so that, um, you know, in, in, in the same vein as Alton Brown, you don't have a unitasker here. You could, you know, if, if you were going to be going portable QRP backpacking, you could carry an extra set of wire and have a, a dipole or even a super efficient link dipole type and system using the same uh, center connector for um, uh, both type, you know, the, uh, for both or center or hub for both types of antennas, NFED or, or dipole style. So that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, I like it. Uh, we'll probably throw it in the kit and use it for more of these these QRP types of activations. What about the activation itself? Uh, 78 contacts, all on 5 watts QRP. <laughs> uh, the bulk of them were on the 20 meter band. Uh, 20 meters was hopping, a lot of activity there. I was able to find a couple free spots. I had to move around a little bit. I had to fight uh, for my for my space. You know, uh, it's QRP kind of things. You know, um, uh, people will try to. You know, they may not hear your signal, so they try to crowd you out and whatnot. Uh, definitely didn't have any issue with. Um, pileups, though, uh, because you know that's sort of like the great. You know, that's that, that's one way to kind of tone things down. If you don't want, if you want to be on a band like 20 meters and you don't want to run that pileup, uh, doing it uh, QRP is one way in which you can you can sort of, of of limit you know all of those stations hearing you. And it was a lot more um, you know uh, the the contacts were a lot more laid back uh, because I you know I might have two or three come at a time, but not have uh, 12, 15, 20 <laughs> come at a time. So uh, there was that nice thing. Um, uh, did, jumped up to 15 meters quickly and uh, 15 was, the band was quiet. I got three or four on 15 meters, not a whole lot. Um, so I went back down and finished up the activation on 20 meters again. And uh, it was good, it was good. It's a little chilly out here. It's about 43 degrees, I think it is. Um, and my fingers are getting cold. So uh, we're gonna finish packing things up and I got a hike back uh, to the car. So uh, this is my review of the Chameleon LEFS uh, 4010 NFED uh, half wave system. Uh, thank you, Chameleon, for providing the antenna uh, for the test, for the review. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, Michael, KB9 VBR. Have a great day in 7 3.